my name is Benita. I'm from Encompass. Uh, I've been doing a lot of LGBT advocacy and talk in the last few years. Uh, there's different angle I can talk about it. I can talk about uh, LGBT in APEC or in Hong Kong or talk about inclusive language. So today is going to be an overview of what LGBT status in Hong Kong is. I'm going to go through some uh, legal cases. Uh, what are some significant cases in Hong Kong? Uh, and then we're going to look at some LGBT, maybe marketing or culture, some history. Uh, and then, uh, and then yes, so it, it's going to be a very, uh, very content rich night. So today, uh, in case you're not aware why I picked today as the event day, today is the May 17th. Uh, it's the International Day Against Homophobia, Transphobia and Biphobia. Um, so it's, it's an evening where, uh, it's a day where uh, the, uh, in 1991, uh, the uh, World Health Organization removed homosexuality as a uh, psychiatric disease. So today uh, is a commemoration uh, of that day. So every year in May 17th around the world, uh, there are different people are uh, doing LGBT events. So uh, maybe some of you in your organizations, in your corporates, uh, you already have some events in your company. So a little bit about myself. Uh, I grew up in uh, in a uh, in 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 a girl school. Uh, I uh, I uh, going in a very Catholic school, and I actually wrote about my Catholic my my LGBT experience in a Catholic school uh, before. So uh, if in case you're interested to share, so why did I? get uh, in touch, uh, why did I do the LGBT work that I'm doing now? So there's a short story. Uh, so, so the story is uh, a few, about eight or nine years ago, I was dating uh, a diving student of mine. I teach scuba diving. And uh, she, we, we went to uh, IFC to, she's straight. She has never been with a woman before. Uh, and she was very, uh, uh, try to be, be very careful with our relationship, not letting other people know. So that day night in IFC, she kissed me goodbye after a movie. And then uh, one of her aunties saw it and uh, tell her mom. And her mom was very, uh, uh, very paranoid about, about us going out. And she stopped talking to me. She ghosted me basically then. And I was very sad. And that actually uh, propelled me to do the work I'm doing now uh, because I want to tell people that uh, not to be homophobic. So uh, what do I actually do? I actually started uh, LGBT in the city tour. Uh, I don't know if any of you had read it on the news. Uh, we, we do the tour in Central and Shenwan, uh, uh, educating people about uh, uh, maybe gay bar, gay sauna, uh, what are the LGBT history in Hong Kong. So it has been quite popular. We have done it through uh, for many organizations like university uh, corporates. So uh, this is a funny, uh, funny diagram. I actually took it in, uh, in a toilet uh, in, 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 in Central. So I have a question for you. Anybody know what's the term for gay toilet in Chinese, uh, in Cantonese or in English? You can unmute yourself or put it in the chat room. So any, anybody know? What is the uh, term for gay toilet in Cantonese or in, in English? Yu Tong. Yu Tong, okay, good. Jimmy, thank you. Yes, Yu Tong. So uh, Yu Tong is meaning the uh, gay, gay, uh, gay toilet in, 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 uh, in, in different parts of, of the city. Uh, there's another related term is called glory hole. Uh, if you type that in, in the Google search, uh, you will see a lot of sexual, uh, maybe di uh, sexual uh, images. Actually, it, it means the hole in between uh, two toilet and the gay man might use that for sex. So actually, uh, it's quite funny. Uh, if, uh, if, if you type fish porn, gay map uh, in, in Google, you will find a map of all the different fish ponds, the uh, gay toilets in, in Hong Kong. So uh, anybody know where is the biggest fish pond in Hong Kong? Yu Tong, gay toilet. I'll give you a tip, it's not on the Hong Kong side. Anybody can guess? So uh, actually the biggest uh, uh, gay toilet in Hong Kong is uh, in uh, Gun Chong Gai in Jordan. Uh, so uh, there's a lot of uh, in the in the 90s when before there's a dating app, uh, there are many uh, gay men who are trying to find partners in in that uh, in that area. 
uh, and uh, I'll also tell you a funny story. So uh, uh, I have some friends who told me uh, in Central, uh, actually one of the most popular uh, fish pond is in Ice, Ice House Street, Mr. Chonggai. So some of you might know it's a place with a lot of the finance and law firm. And actually the gay men, they actually uh, don't even need, uh, need to actually go in the toilet. They just park their car outside with their fancy, like maybe Mercedes or whatever BMW, and they will attract other younger gay guys. Uh, so, um, yeah, uh, this is uh, Yu Tong. So uh, I actually wrote about my experience uh, uh, being an LGBT Catholic uh, uh, growing up in Catholic school. And some of you uh, might also uh, uh, heard about uh, the, uh, the LGBT school dynamics in Hong Kong. A lot of them are same sex. So they uh, give a different uh, 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 um, uh, upbringing for uh, young people. So uh, if you're interested, you can read this as a medium. I also write about why no label uh, should be the only, only label. And I will explain wh what's the term no label mean uh, in, in a short while. So uh, bear with me with that. So uh, I, I like to do a little polling uh, about learning about you. So uh, this is anonymous. So uh, you, can, you can feel free to ask, feel free to answer. So the first question is how many gay friends do you have? Uh, second of all, uh, do you consider yourself uh, homosexual or heterosexual or are you 100% heterosexual? The third is, do you have a good gaydar? So uh, in case you don't know what that term means, gaydar means uh, if I can send somebody is gay or not. Uh, and, and to be honest, I, I don't have a very good gaydar. I, I always make a, make a wrong choice. Uh, and, and the fourth question is, um, uh, do you believe Hong Kong is an LGBT inclusive uh, city? So, uh, can can I can I ask who, who asked Hong Kong Hong Kong is not LGBT inclusive at all? Who, who, who answered that question? Who said Hong Kong is not LGBT inclusive at all? I want to hear your views. Why why do you think? So who clicked that answer? <laughs> so Jimmy, did you catch click I never have a gator or your gator is okay? My gator is okay. The gate is okay. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, uh, I don't know if you, you yourself heard about a, a ten percent club. So, ten percent club uh, uh, is a, 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 a older LGBT organization in Hong Kong, and it's called ten percent because it's estimated ten percent of our uh, of the population is gay. So. Uh, uh, yeah, it's about uh, it's about the right. We have uh, one uh, participant who is hum completely homosexual around the ten. So I I, I hope you enjoy this little quiz. So uh, yeah, a lot of young people now identify themselves as LGBT, and I don't know how many of you have uh, seen this uh, diagram before. Uh, I like to use that to ex uh, ex uh, uh, explain the gender identity and gender expression. So for example, myself, I identify my uh, as a woman, uh, I use the pronoun she or her, uh, but my gender expression sometime like today, I'm a slightly boyish, I have shorter hair, I wear a t-shirt, I'm more masculine. Uh, my biological sex, so I'm assigned uh, as a female as birth, uh, but some people uh, are born as intersex, they have both male and female organ. Uh, and my sexual orientation is mostly homosexual, but I have also have heterosexual relationship before. So uh, this uh, diagram, uh, if anybody, maybe this is your take home message. Uh, if you want to explain uh, LGBT to other people, this is a very good tool. Uh, and uh, one more thing, uh, today's uh, uh, talk and the recording, uh, the presentation and this recording will be available to you. So don't worry about copying anything. Uh, I just want you to enjoy today's experience. So uh, these are some uh, famous uh, 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 celebrities who are identified as LGBT or non-binary. So for example, Elia Page, a very famous uh, actress, uh, she has recently become a trans man. Uh, so she has been speaking out her experience. Uh, we have Sam Smith and Harry Styles, which is uh, more non-binary. So uh, I, this is my good friend, Siu Fung. I always like to introduce him. Uh, he is born as a female. Uh, so she, uh, Tzu Fong actually attended a uh, girls' school when, when, when he's younger, but now he's uh, identified as non-binary and he is uh, sometimes male, sometimes female, his expression. So uh, some, uh, I think, young, especially younger people, a lot of them may have this uh, tendency to be gender queer or gender fluid. 
So uh, about the, before I jump into Hong Kong, I want to talk a little bit about the global uh, status of LGBT rights. So uh, when you, if you see it in this diagram, the darker red color meaning uh, LGBT is not acceptable and the uh, lighter, uh, uh, the, the dark blue color meaning LGBT is acceptable, uh, acceptable. So you can see some in some countries, maybe Middle East or Africa, uh, uh, they are still, uh, it's still illegal to be homosexual uh, or maybe you have death penalty for homosexual behavior. And in APEC, uh, we know that uh, throughout in different regions in APEC, whether it's Australia, Indonesia, Singapore. So Singapore actually uh, still uh, is uh, uh, homosexuality is still criminalized. Uh, and then uh, we have places like Taiwan, where now we have uh, same-sex marriage. Uh, so actually, uh, there's a, a very difference in uh, the awareness and the, uh, uh, legal protection in, in APEC. So these are some uh, headlines in different regions in APEC. So for example, in Japan, uh, now there's discussion of uh, marriage equality uh, in, uh, uh, in China, uh, China is actually the third biggest uh, 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 ping, we call it ping economy, uh, the ping dollars. Uh, the first is US, the second is Europe. Uh, so actually uh, uh, it, it is a very uh, uh, a booming industry. Uh, in Taiwan, we have the same-sex marriage. Uh, in Hong Kong, uh, uh, a, a few years ago, there was a, a, a case where uh, 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 the DT case, uh, where you, there's over same-sex partnership in the spousal visa application. So I'll talk a little bit more about the cases. So uh, next questions, uh, history questions. So when was homosexuality decriminalized in Hong Kong? So uh, let me launch the poll. So anybody know the history question? 1991, 1995. So my follow-up question for, uh, for you, does anybody know why uh, homosexuality was de decriminalized in Hong Kong? So in, in, in UK, it was decriminalized in the sixties. So what happened in, 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 the, in the 90s or eighties that led to the decriminalization? So there was a, one specific incident. Yes, yes, uh, about uh, one police uh, have been killed or something related with this. Yes, Kenny, very good, uh, very good answer. Thank you for answering. So actually, uh, in the sixties, uh, uh, LGBT was uh, still de uh, de uh, criminalized, uh, ju just like in, uh, 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 but. Uh, in what happened in, in the 1989 was that there was a police officer. His name is uh, John McLennan. And uh, he was uh, found, uh, he, he was uh, being accused of having gay sex. And he was found dead uh, in his apartment with five shots in his uh, abdomen. So people were guessing that it was actually not a natural death. He didn't commit suicide. Uh, people said they were, he was being murdered because he know a lot of the uh, uh, famous people uh, or maybe upper class people who are gay and it, it was fear of him uh, will tell the story. So actually uh, people think he was being uh, murdered. So actually, if you're interested in the case, there's a whole book about his death. Uh, it's the McLennan case of 1980. Uh, and actually this led to the discussion of the decriminalization of uh, LGBT in Hong Kong. So uh, finally in 1991, uh, LGBT was being, uh, being gay was being decriminalized. So uh, I will give you a few uh, uh, thoughts about is Hong Kong a great place for LGBT. Uh, uh, I will leave you uh, to uh, think about the conclusion for yourself. So there's no uh, anti-discrimination legislation based on sexual orientation. So we have anti-discrimination legislation based on race, based on gender, based on disability, uh, but not on sexual orientation. Uh, that has been uh, discussed in the legislation, Legislative Council in the 1990s, but it has never passed the law. So all the LGBT rights, uh, which the few case I share with you is all through the uh, courts of the judicial review. So it's not a very healthy development. And unfortunately, uh, with the legislative council we have right now, I think uh, the, the, the chances that this will be put on the discussion was also very slim. So what is the actual effect? Uh, because of the um, uh, discrimination, uh, actually, uh, this is a real case. This is in two, 2017. 
uh, there was a transgender woman. Uh, she commits suicide uh, in Taiwan uh, because she is feeling excluded. So uh, uh, this uh, the LG uh, being di di uh, discriminated have a very big effect uh, on people's mental health. So, uh, for example, uh, uh, the LGBT students are also fa facing a lot of uh, prejudice in Hong Kong. Uh, they deal with stigma. Uh, and for example, the school sex uh, curriculum guidelines in Hong Kong is very outdated. Uh, in case you don't know, our, our, uh, sex, our school sex education curriculum is still in 1997. So it's, uh, it's very outdated. It talks about only maybe contraception, uh, talk about maybe menstruation, but it doesn't talk about relationship. It doesn't talk about uh, uh, how do you do with uh, students who are maybe questioning because there are a lot of young people who may be questioning about their sexuality. So uh, this are some other cases. Uh, so uh, this, some of you might have heard of these cases. Uh, there was a same-sex spouse, uh, a, a, U, a UK couple, lesbian couple who applied for this uh, 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 visa. Uh, they actually win it. And uh, this is also a re uh, recent case. This is Edgar and Henry. Uh, they, uh, uh, they are fighting for the same-sex uh, uh, couple, couple uh, housing right in the public housing. So the high court actually uh, uh, give them the, the, the rights. So they ultimately win the case. Not all the cases are being won, but this is a, one of the uh, uh, better case. Uh, this is another case also uh, just uh, uh, quite recent. Uh, so uh, they, uh, this is Angus and uh, Scott, and uh, they won the rights uh, for civil servants. So the civil servants have the same sex benefits. Again, it took many, many years. Uh, they were fighting in many courts to get their rights. Uh, so uh, I don't know how many of you remember this case. Uh, this is uh, W versus Register of Mar uh, Marriage. Uh, this is this woman, uh, W uh, woman, her name. Uh, she she want to marry a man, and the court uh, said uh, they are allowed to woman. But there's another problem. Uh, to allow uh, them to uh, marry, they need to have a gender recon uh, uh, gender recognition. So now to have the gender recognition, the uh, a trans person need to have a full surgery, meaning both top and bottom surgery. So if you are uh, 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 a female to male, you would need to uh, remove your uh, uh, tops and maybe have an artificial penis. And if you are male, you would need to have your uh, implant of, uh, of your tops and also uh, have an artificial vagina. So I have a question for you. Can you guess, is it harder for female to male or male to female? You can put it in the chat room if you want. Is it harder to be female to male or male to female? Uh, so Joey uh, think it will be the same. Anybody else? Can we really compare it this way? It's, it's a very different, a different surgery, uh, as you can imagine, the female to male and uh, male to female. Uh, so, so, so the correct answer is actually uh, the female to male is harder uh, because uh, to construct an artificial penis, uh, it will involve uh, uh, having some bones and some tissues uh, uh, to do it. So this, uh, uh, this is actually Henry, another Henry. Uh, he's, uh, he's a trans man, so he's a female to male. Uh, and he doesn't want to do the bottom surgeries. Uh, so uh, he's actually having uh, now uh, 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 fighting in the, in the court case uh, to try to have the gender recognition le uh, legislation just based on uh, 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 partial, partial surgery and also self-recognition. So in some uh, different countries, uh, you can self-identify as uh, uh, opposite sex. And if you can, um, prove that uh, you uh, 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 have lived as the opposite sex for many years, then you can uh, uh, claim that. So uh, yes, so uh, uh, mm -hmm. now Henry has a uh, final court case. Uh, so this, uh, this news I show you is 2019. Uh, and now he uh, uh, fight again in the court of final appeal, appeal and try to uh, fight for his case. So many of these LGBT cases are in the Hong Kong uh, court of final appeal. So uh, this is another true story. Uh, so uh, this is uh, uh, 
Dr. Brenda Allegri from Hong Kong U, uh, she is a trans woman. So she is born as a male uh, and uh, transsexual to a female. So what happened is she went to the toilet in the IFC uh, and the female toilet. And when she come out, uh, there were uh, five police who were surrounding her, asking her to uh, uh, give up her phone because they, they thought that she will take pictures of other women and harass them. But actually they can't find any uh, any uh, any uh, pictures of female because uh, uh, Dr. Brenda Allegri actually uh, just like male, uh, so he, she has a lot of male picture. Uh, but uh, her story showed that it's uh, very uh, uh, difficult uh, for uh, trans people to have the uh, safe space for them because they don't have their own toilet or people have misunderstanding on them. So uh, yeah, I think uh, maybe Joey uh, can share about uh, her work. Uh, on the gender neutral toilet uh, later uh, tonight, today. So uh, now uh, the Hong Kong students, uh, the situation is there's a lack of sex education. So uh, uh, a lot of the uh, students doesn't have uh, sex, uh, sex uh, 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 a qualified sex education from a qualified outsider. Uh, there's a lot of bullying. Uh, so a lot of the students uh, report that they have experienced uh, discrimination. Uh, there's a lack of teacher training. Uh, the, a lot of the teacher has never know about sexuality and gender diversity. I don't know if there's any uh, a teacher in the room. Uh, you might be interested to learn more about this. I actually uh, now provide uh, some training for the uh, teachers about LGBT awareness. And some, uh, some schools, uh, like what I said earlier, like Catholic or Christian school, they might have uh, very strict religious views and that uh, maybe the Christian feels they are a little bit more homophobic. So uh, this, uh, we talk about students, these are the, uh, uh, employ uh, the status for the employees. So uh, for employee, LGBT employees in Hong Kong, uh, they might uh, have uh, uh, problems coming out generally or coming out at work. Uh, maybe some people choose to come out to their friends only and not at work. Uh, or maybe uh, their colleagues are ignorant, they don't know about sexual issues. Uh, they are also concerned about uh, that uh, being LGBT might affect their uh, behavior. Some of the more practical aspects is uh, there's um, uh, some company doesn't have benefits to same-sex partner, whether it's housing uh, or medical benefits. Uh, they might fear of uh, people uh, naming them uh, different names. Uh, the legal environment, uh, uh, as I said, there's no anti-discrimination legislation based on sexual orientation. Uh, there's pressure from conservative group. I will show you some examples. Uh, in uh, many companies, uh, there are no uh, 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 non-discrimination policies. And finally, uh, there's uh, isolation in the workplace or connection with uh, other LGBT employees. So uh, is Hong Kong a great place for LGBT? Uh, some uh, gay men uh, would not seek uh, medical service uh, for fear of disclosing their sexual uh, orientation. Uh, some of them uh, uh, do not seek me medical uh, uh, assistance uh, because of uh, disclosing their sexuality and some of them will hide about their uh, sexual orientation uh, when they seek the service. So uh, if you're interested in LGBT uh, uh, medicine, uh, finding like some people uh, ask me, oh, where can I find an LGBT friendly doctor, like a psychiatrist or like a gynecologist? Uh, in the ex concern, there's a Dr. Rainbow Scheme. Uh, so you can, uh, uh, you can uh, register with, with them uh, to, to check out their service. So uh, is Hong Kong a great place for LGBT? If you look at the uh, Hong Kong residents, uh, actually uh, in, from 2013 to 2017, you can see there's a lot more support on the same-sex marriage or different rights. So I think definitely, especially with young people, a lot of the young people are receptive, uh, receptive for LGBT. Uh, but however, uh, like what I said earlier, there are some opposition from conservative communities. So this happened uh, a few years ago in 2018. Uh, they were a conservative group uh, that uh, tried to ban the LGBT uh, uh, books, uh, maybe some gay parents book in the library. Uh, so um, yeah, uh, unfortunately there, there is always a small group of uh, very conservative people who are not LGBT friendly in Hong Kong. Uh, if we talk about LGBT in Hong Kong, uh, we must talk about the celebrities. 
Uh, so uh, some of you will know uh, uh, Leslie Zhang, a very famous uh, uh, actor in Hong Kong. Uh, he is uh, openly bisexual and this is his partner Tong Tong. Uh, and they are very sweet together. And if you come to my LGBT tour, I will bring you to Mandarin Oriental, uh, which uh, unfortunately is where uh, uh, Leslie Zhang has ended his life. Uh, we don't know how much it's because his pressure uh, as being an LGBT or other mental issues. So th these are some other LGBT uh, celebrities in Hong Kong. Uh, I want to highlight Yip Hu Yin. I don't know how many of you know her. Uh, she is a badminton player in Hong Kong. She has represented Hong Kong in the Olympics. Uh, so uh, there are not many uh, uh, athletes in Hong Kong that are openly LGBT, uh, and uh, Yip is one of them. Uh, I, I'm sure some of you have heard of Anthony Wong and Denise Ho and Chet Nam and the other LGBT facility. And now uh, this, uh, some of you might know Gigi Chow. Uh, she is a, a daughter of the famous uh, 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 tycoon Sissy Chow. Uh, and uh, so now I have a question for you. So. So uh, Gigi Chow, uh, she was with Sean before, they now break up. So, uh, but Gigi, when, when she tried to marry uh, her partner, Sean, her dad was very angry and her dad actually offered a dowry uh, for any man to be able to win over his daughter, Gigi Chow. So can you guess how much was that? So actually her dad uh, first over 500 million uh, and then uh, and then because there's no man that were able to, he doubled the offer to 1 billion. So it was uh, quite quite a lot of money. Uh, Gigi decided to marry Sean in the end, although they break up, uh, but uh, Gigi is still doing some good work in marriage equality, which I will show you in a while. So, okay, let me close that. So uh, I will also I want to introduce HSBC and LGBT. Uh, so why I want to highlight uh, HSBC. So now uh, a lot of people think uh, HSBC is a very uh, LGBT friendly company. They actually just had a recent advertisement uh, using a lesbian couple, which I will show you. But uh, HSBC has not always been LGBT friendly. So this, uh, this was a, um, a case. Uh, uh, this uh, lady is actually Mimi. Uh, she uh, she she's born as a man, so she's born as this uh, man, uh, and she uh, uh, and and she was an IT technician. And then when she transsexual to a fee, uh, to to a female, the company actually doesn't give her the equal uh, benefit, and also are not allowing her to use a certain toilet. So that actually led to Hicks busy being a, a lot more uh, uh, LGBT conscious. Uh, but uh, they actually have a rainbow lion in the uh, uh, in the uh, uh, in the uh, in, in in front of the big building. Uh, unfortunately, there's also a conservative group like this guy called Roger Wong, uh, who is uh, very homophobic, and uh, he uh, 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 with his friends uh, were campaigning against LGBT uh, for HSBC to have LGBT friendly policy. So I know some of you know this, but does does everybody know who's who's uh, who's son of Roger Wong? So a uh, very famous uh, uh, a very famous activist in Hong Kong, which is now a little bit in in trouble. <laughs> So uh, actually, uh, what uh, this um, uh, so this is the uh, HSBC. Oops, sorry, I'm trying to click. I don't know what that happened. Oops, sorry. Let me go back to this. So this was the Rainbow Lions in uh, HSBC, and this man, Roger Wong, is actually the father of Joshua Wong, which is a student activist. I think some of you know him. Uh, unfortunately, Mr. Wong and his son doesn't agree on the LGBT issues. So. Uh, uh, Joshua Wong is actually quite uh, supportive of the LGBT movement. Uh, he was being seen in the gay parade and different things. Uh, there was actually a few years ago in an Apple Daily interview, 
uh, his father said, oh, my son is just like us, like me. Uh, we don't like LGBT people. And then his son uh, make an announcement on his Facebook one hour later saying uh, that actually he, uh, he is LGBT friendly. So just a little side story. Um, is Hong Kong a great place for LGBT? Uh, there are uh, not that many uh, gender neutral toilets in Hong Kong, uh, not meaning the disabled toilet, but actually gender neutral toilet, but there are now more and more uh, in some places, for example, like the Eaton Hotel, uh, Chinese U increasingly, uh, there's more. Uh, this one particular one is in Hong Kong U, which is one of the first uh, gender neutral toilets in Hong Kong. So uh, I was talking about marriage equality and Gigi Chow. So Gigi and a few friends uh, started this uh, coalition called Equal Love. Uh, and as I said, uh, more, uh, more and more uh, respondents in Hong Kong are supported the same-sex marriage. Uh, they are trying to uh, campaign for uh, marriage equality. So if you want to learn more about them, you can go to their website. Uh, and uh, some of you might know Mira, a very popular uh, boy band group now. Uh, they have a very popular uh, TV show called The Isotic Oi about uh, this uh, love between uh, older, older, older man and uh, this uh, main character, Eden. Uh, and uh, yeah, uh, this is very popular and I think it helps uh, to uh, create a positive image for the LGBT movement. And uh, this uh, few uh, young men, uh, uh, you, you might know the Gung To, uh, Eden and Anson o, they were doing the McDonald campaign, so everybody loved them. And these are some other LGBT uh, uh, advertisement. Uh, Ellen Lu, uh, she is a lesbian singer. Unfortunately, uh, just like Leslie Jiang, she committed suicide. Uh, but before she committed suicide, she actually uh, did an uh, uh, advertisement with a local uh, uh, jewelry firm, uh, Zhao Sang Sang, so which is quite rare because not many uh, local company will uh, have LGBT friendly advertisement. Um, this one, uh, this is a few years ago, I don't know if you remember this, uh, cafe has a, 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 a advertisement of holding hand and that was originally being banned uh, from the public transport system. But however, it was later being overturned, there was a big uh, 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 fight back. And this uh, uh, advertisement is just recently, I think it came out two months ago, uh, about Asha, which is a very uh, popular actress now, and she is uh, trying to build a future with her partner. And they're talking about financial planning and HSBC. Uh, so these are some uh, positive news about uh, LGBT in Hong Kong. Oops. Okay. So. Uh, about the LGBT uh, culture, so uh, before in Lan uh, 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 LKF, uh, there is a bar called Disco Disco. Uh, is uh, founded uh, by Englishman in, in, in the 1991st. So the story is he went to Peninsula to dance with his partner and they were having a lot of fun, but the uh, Peninsula said you cannot dance with a same-sex couple uh, that dance uh, in, in the bar. So he was very angry. So he started this bar. Uh, and uh, actually it was very popular then uh, and uh, the people like uh, Elton John or, uh, or Madonna when they come to Hong Kong, you, they will go to this. And th this bar is very special is because you can't just attend but you need to be of a, a certain status. Uh, you need to be uh, not just rich but you need to have connection to go there. So uh, this is another uh, uh, bar uh, in Kowloon side on Cornwall Avenue. Uh, and you can see here there are some uh, uh, quite quite explicit wording uh, uh, about uh, about uh, pens about uh, uh, um, button pens. Uh, so this is uh, in 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 Kowloon as well. So I, I do want to talk a bit about lesbian. I think uh, lesbian are not being uh, talked a lot about in Hong Kong. So uh, there's a group called Leso in Hong Kong. They do the lesbian party, but unfortunately, I think everybody know in the last three years nobody have any party because of COVID. But before they were doing this, uh, there was also a group called Les Pesh. Uh, they have been around longer, uh, founded by uh, Betty and Abby. Uh, they do the, they take over like a straight bar, like a normal heterosexual bar uh, every, every month. And then they have lesbian party. And then uh, there's Lester Day, uh, it's on Peel Street. Uh, they have a, a, a lesbian singer to sing uh, every Saturday. Unfortunately, this bar, because of, I think, COVID also affect the, a lot of their business. Uh, they're not uh, 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 operating after July anymore. But uh, if you're interested, I highly recommend you go and visit them before July. Uh, they, are, they are very LGBT friendly. Uh, and actually in, in Hong Kong, 
uh, in Causeway Bay in uh, Bossy Fugai, Pacifu Street. Uh, before there were a few lesbian cafe, uh, but not uh, a lot anymore. Uh, so this is those at Pew Street uh, in case you want to visit them. So uh, these are some uh, artwork. Uh, this is actually uh, Nicole Poon. She is uh, a friend of mine as well. And this hand gesture, actually, uh, if you just use your imagination, uh, is actually uh, uh, about lesbian sex. So lesbian doesn't have a penis. So if they want to have sex, they might need to use their hand. So this is her artwork. And her artwork actually uh, with some other uh, woman uh, and LGBT work is now at this art gallery called WMA uh, in uh, so on. And uh, I'm, I'm very uh, biased because my girlfriend works there. So uh, if you are interested, uh, they have a free, uh, a free show. You can just uh, go to their website and register. It's completely free, a uh, nonprofit. They want to uh, uh, educate people about this social issue. So uh, I highly recommend you the, the to see the show. So about a dating app, I was telling you that uh, uh, about no label. So actually, if you go to a dating app in uh, uh, Hong Kong, there's a famous app called Butterfly. So uh, lesbian is a little bit different from uh, gay men. Uh, gay men, they can um, very easily maybe uh, find a partner in the, uh, in the, uh, in the, in the bar or uh, partying. But uh, lesbians tend to need to talk a lot more. So they have different uh, topics like uh, sports, uh, 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 eating, travel, and all that. And actually, mm -hmm. if you uh, want to uh, uh, meet, another girl, uh, meet another lesbian, you might say that I'm a tomboy, which is TB. Uh, I'm a tomboy girl, which is TBG. And then you have pure. So somebody like Denise Ho, I would say is more pure. She's not very masculine or very feminine. And then we have one is called no label. So um, no label in, uh, in, uh, in the LGBT, uh, in the lesbian world, meaning uh, I, I don't have a particular preference. So maybe two uh, very tomboyish uh, looking together or two TBG together, or there's just no preference. <clears throat> and some of you might heard about this case. Uh, this happened a few months ago. Uh, this man was uh, pretending to be a uh, uh, lesbian in the dating app and uh, tried to uh, uh, date uh, a woman and uh, it was found that she was actually uh, uh, trying to rape the rape the woman so uh, this uh, yeah un unfortunately uh, this do happen men pretend to be female uh, and try to uh, solicit a relationship in in the dating app so uh, in Hong Kong, uh, some of you might attend uh, some of the LGBT uh, events before, like Pink Dot, uh, Pink Season, they are very popular. Uh, and uh, uh, other than the lesbian hangout, uh, they, this is a very interesting, it's called Booba. So uh, this, uh, this type of man, we call them bear, uh, because they uh, have a certain haircut, uh, they have a certain physique, uh, uh, very muscular. Uh, there are some other gay bars in Hong Kong, uh, which are, um, uh, uh, maybe this is called Patacon Lane. They have the uh, uh, Wednesday with, with like a gay a drag queen. Uh, so unfortunately, uh, the gay bar in Hong Kong is a lot more than a lesbian bar. Uh, I think the gay bar in Hong Kong is about uh, 20. Uh, lesbian bar, bar or places is about two or three. And uh, just from my personal experience, I, I, I don't really like lesbian bar. Uh, I, I think they are, um, how do I say it? Uh, not not the new one. There's a new club room. I think is better. But the but the other older one, they are very noisy. The drinks are not very good. People are smoking inside. But uh, I will leave you to decide. Maybe some of you like to uh, try the lesbian bar. Uh, so uh, there are also other uh, places where you can learn about LGBT. So uh, this is called Queer Witch Library. Uh, uh, you can follow their Facebook. Uh, they go to different places, for example, uh, in Eaton Hotel, uh, Tycoon, uh, they have some uh, magazine or some uh, special uh, collection of the LGBT history. Uh, this is uh, Java Street on uh, Shenwan. Uh, it's one of my favorite LGBT places in Hong Kong. Uh, uh, it shows you the pride color. Uh, this is from the same group. Uh, it's called, uh, they are called uh, uh, Pride in Rainbow. Uh, so they, uh, this is actually uh, Anthony, uh, Anthony, this is Leslie, uh, this is Ellen Lu, this is Denise Ho, and they're trying to feature different artists to talk about like being brave and celebrating LGBT. So this is the group. Uh, if you follow their Instagram, uh, they, they show you the different artwork around Hong Kong. 
Uh, unfortunately, uh, some of them, uh, they don't give you the location because Hong Kong uh, graffiti is technically illegal. So they, are, they don't want the police to uh, destroy the artwork. So uh, LGBT private place, uh, this is one of my favorite uh, place is, uh, is in uh, Central, it's called Central Escalator. Uh, it's mended by a guy called Wa Zai. Uh, they have been around since 1991. So uh, one of the biggest and longest uh, history of gay sauna. Uh, so the inside is just like this, there's several rooms uh, and the gay men meet there. Uh, and actually Wa Zai told me uh, the most popular uh, hours is actually uh, afternoon, not uh, after work because some married men who, are, who may be actually gay, uh, they will go there to have gay sex uh, before their, husband, before their uh, wife find out in the evening. So it's quite interesting. Uh, so uh, yeah, uh, I don't know how many of you have watched the movie Sok Sok. Uh, so it's about two older gay men. Uh, so um, uh, if you're interested, uh, this is a, a work uh, by Dr. Travis Kong from Hong Kong U. Uh, he talked about the old history of uh, older gay men in Hong Kong. And you can actually see some of them don't show their faces uh, because they are still uh, scared of being uh, discriminated. Only a few of them are brave enough to uh, show their faces. Uh, there are different LGBT communities group in Hong Kong. So uh, they are usually welcoming allies. So you don't actually need to be gay to join on one of them. Uh, there's different group. There's, there's a Tongzi literacy group talking about uh, uh, books and culture. Uh, there's harmonics where you can do singing. Uh, there's out in Hong Kong, uh, which you can do sports. So uh, is Hong Kong a great place for LGBT? So you hear me uh, speak in the last, last 20, 40 minutes. So there's uh, uh, a lot of uh, big scale events. Uh, for example, Ping Sisan, Pride Parade, Ping Dot. Uh, but I think uh, Hong Kong, uh, you can decide uh, whether Hong Kong has advanced much in LGBT rights. Uh, in the legal sense. Uh, uh, as I said, there's no anti-discrimination legislation based on uh, 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 homo uh, uh, because of sexual orientation. Uh, we don't have a very big pride parade. So when I went to Taiwan, uh, we have about like 100,000 people on the street. Uh, I think now any type of parade in Hong Kong is going to be very challenging with the new rule. Uh, and the sponsorship uh, for the LGBT events are mostly from the uh, MNCs. Uh, not many, uh, so a lot of, if you look at the Pink Dot, the sponsor is mostly the HSBC, the big names, uh, very uh, seldom local companies get involved. Uh, there are also no uh, gay district, uh, pink district. Uh, so in, if you go to places like Taipei, there's a special area where there's a lot of gay bars or gay history. So Hong Kong is not very visible. Uh, and uh, there's also uh, not a lot of funding uh, for LGBT events from, uh, foundation or government sources. So uh, just a few more mis uh, a few more slides uh, before I open the floor to discussion. Uh, being LGBT, actually, actually, if you look at different history, this is some uh, ancient painting. As you can see that they are doing different type of uh, lesbian and gay sex. Uh, actually, LGBT people have been existed uh, throughout uh, histories. Uh, and same-sex couple doesn't always have a male or female role. So this is actually a, a couple from Thailand. So you might think that uh, the more boyish one might be, uh, might be the mother. But actually in this lesbian couple, the boyish girl was uh, being mother for the, for the child. Uh, discrimination uh, does have a big effect on the health of the LGBT people. So we don't know if Ellen Lu or Leslie Jung as are the, uh, uh, the mental health because affected by LGBT, but definitely if you look at the statistics, uh, LGBT people uh, are four times uh, as much uh, depression as the normal population. Uh, so normal population is about six, uh, 46 percent, but uh, LGBT people is 20, 24 percent uh, for Hong Kong. Uh, same sex couple do form families. Uh, in Hong Kong, we have rainbow families in Hong, uh, of Hong Kong. Uh, unfortunately, I, I think almost all of them, if they have kids, uh, they don't go to local school because I think local school are a lot more uh, uh, conservative. Uh, they usually go to in, uh, international school. Uh, so uh, yeah, uh, in Hong Kong, uh, I think uh, the misconception is homophobic uh, voice in Hong Kong is a lot. But as I show you, a lot of uh, Hong Kong people are supported of the LGBT people, uh, but there's a small uh, community of religious conservative uh, that they are trying to uh, be 
uh, more uh, stringent on, on the LGBT uh, life. So, uh, okay, money question. Uh, LGBT community has how much more dispos disposable income than their heterosexual counterparts? So you can either unmute or, uh, uh, or, uh, or, or, or uh, put it in the chat box. Anybody can guess? So uh, the answer is actually 23%. Uh, LGBT, uh, Winnie, uh, that's, that's a very good guess, 20%. It's about 23%. So if you look at the economic uh, 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 number, LGBT uh, uh, community, why they have more disposable income is because of this term called DENK. And if you don't know this term, it means double income, dual income, no kids, because uh, a lot of gay couple, uh, for example, for myself, I don't tend to uh, have kids. So uh, me and my partner, we have two income, but we have no kids. So that means we can spend more on our vacation or a different work area. So uh, this is uh, my old boss, Mr. Lau Meng Wei, which is a vice chairperson at the, also at the Hong Kong Youth Development Council and the tourism board. Uh, uh, he said uh, we, we, we should uh, welcome more LGBT travelers in Hong Kong uh, to send an uh, uh, important message to the world about Hong Kong and its values. So if you actually look at the tourism board, uh, actually very, uh, 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 the tourism board uh, introduced the gay, gay bar. So for example, FOM is a gay bar in Shangwan. Uh, it talked about the Middle Bay Beach. I don't know if you heard about this. This is uh, uh, near to Repulse Bay. Uh, it's the unofficial Hong Kong gay beach. So uh, there are a lot of uh, maybe naked men there. And Hong Kong is also going to have the gay games in 2023. So uh, we'll, uh, it will be interesting to see the LGBT development. So uh, yeah, uh, before I open uh, the floor for more questions, just want to tell you a little bit about Encompass. So we do different uh, talk uh, on uh, LGBT inclusive language, allyship, uh, the tool I mentioned. So if you are interested, uh, you can uh, contact us. 